What is Metaverse? Is it something that is owned by Facebook? How it is connected to Web3? What is in it for us? How can we access it? Facebook has invested $10 billion in building its own Metaverse and the company is now officially called Meta. Google has invested $40 million just in the research of VR devices. We attended a virtual concert by Marshmello and Ariana Grande inside Fortnite. Adidas and Nike are now selling virtual and digital shoes. Gucci has its own garden inside a metaverse. Hey guys, I am Vishal. And I am Ayush and we will simplify everything around metaverse in our channel Metaverse Simplified. If you haven't been living under a rock till now, you might have definitely heard about the term Metaverse. But what does it mean? With various definitions around the corner, let's take the one example of Facebook's and Meta's founder, Mark Zuckerberg. A Metaverse is a virtual world where you can play, walk or socialize. To put it into simple language, today you are experiencing the internet on a screen but imagine what if tomorrow you can actually enter the internet. Now let's see how internet has evolved over the last three decades. First came web 1 in the 1990s where information was only in static format and all we could do was just read through websites such as encyclopedia, wikipedia etc through our laptops and desktops and the most kind of interaction we had through internet was on emails and that was also reduced to just plain emails with no multimedia whatsoever. Slowly things evolved and with cloud computing came the age of interactive internet or what we called as web2. The likes of Facebook, YouTube, Amazon, social media, e-commerce started booming. So internet evolved from a place where it was just consuming information to more of an interactive place. People can post their music, pictures, video, they can interact with each other. Social media became a huge thing, right? So instead of just consuming information on internet, now a user can interact with that. I as a user can comment on a picture of Brad Pitt or can tweet to Barack Obama or can just go on an e-commerce and buy that uh, amazing jacket that my favorite celebrity is wearing, right? That is how Web2 came and with Web2 came interactive internet. The next generation of internet, Web3, is going to be way more immersive than Web1 and Web2. You will be able to immerse yourself in different multiverses or virtual spaces by being different characters or avatars. Right now, you can play Fortnite by being a Batman, Superman, Captain America, but you really do not own those avatars and we'll come down to that later. But Web3 is not new internet. It's the extension of internet as we know, which will revolve around more activities and the experience is going to be way more immersive. Not only that, like devices evolved. In Web1, we had PC. In Web2, we had phones and tablets. In Web3, a lot of new gadgets will come, will play around AR, VR and XR and this will help us to interact with the metaverse seamlessly. What the future of social interaction hold is truly exciting. An interesting insight. Apple by 2030 expects 4% of its revenue to come from XR devices. By 2040, Apple expects 40% of its revenue to come from XR devices or extended reality devices. Isn't that crazy? I think I, I read it somewhere that in web1 it was brand.com, in web2 it was at the rate brand and in web3 is going to be brand.eth. Now what's eth? For the curious minds out there, go out and google. Today we are sitting in the 1990s of internet and 2010s of application development but definitely at the beginning of the age of metaverse. My initial thoughts were I shall go to the social media to socialize, play or work. So what is this metaverse fad about? Then I learned that metaverse bring in an immersive experience while socializing, working or playing. But what is the meaning of an immersive experience? 
Let's look at some example and understand what it's really mean. Our first example comes from the industry of sports. Manchester City, one of the biggest footballing giants in England, partnered with Sony to bring its match day experience to the audience in the metaverse using VR technology. I mean, me personally being a football fan, I absolutely love that. Imagine experiencing the entire match day while sitting in my bedroom. Isn't that great? Next is immersive travel. Imagine you are sitting in any corner of the world and you can get into a metaverse and you can take a walk around Eiffel Tower virtually or explore the pyramids of Egypt virtually or let's say explore the or experience the famous Ganga Arti at Haridwar. Now that is wow for me if I can sit at any corner of the world and experience it. Recently in shopping, metaverse is also picking up and H&M and uh, Walmart are building metaverse or virtual shopping experience for the consumer. In entertainment, there were concerts of Ariana Grande, Marshmallow and even Bruno Mars in a metaverse which is quite exciting for me. Next comes interaction. Meetings and conferences will be way more immersive. Rather than just plainly video conferencing or video calling someone, you will be able to decide what environment you want to meet somebody at. That could be in a garden or in a mountain. You will be able to decide what your avatar will wear. Uh, you can decide your shades, your glasses, your hats. And th that's interesting, isn't it? At this point, you might be thinking, hey, it's, it's just fancy video conferencing. But no, not that. Let us explain it to you, different properties of Metaverse. There are three components of Metaverse. Number one, ownership. Number two, interportability. Number three, persistence or continuity. Let's deep dive into the first concept of ownership. Suppose uh, the robot app that you saw in the last video and suppose you want to own it. And let's assume there is some designer who have designed this. Now there is this concept in Metaverse called NFT. And in our later video, we are going to explain that in detail. But in a nutshell, this owner have designed, let's say, some specific number of this exact robot avatar. And because the number of quantity is limited or less in number, this is scarce, right? And imagine, suppose you are owning this uh, avatar or the skin in this metaverse and let's say tomorrow, it get popular and people are actually willing to pay for it so what you can do essentially is you can actually sell that at a higher price or maybe you can own it and have it as your exclusive collection that is the concept of ownership in metaverse any digital asset in a metaverse will have a verified uh, owner and you can actually own it the second concept around metaverse is interportability Now let's say you bought the robot avatar or the robot skin inside Facebook's metaverse and now you want to go and explore a different metaverse let's say a Roblox or a sandbox you will be able to do it that is the true state of metaverse it doesn't matter which ecosystem you belong to you might be using an iPhone iPad or a Windows device but whatever you own in a metaverse will also be portable and usable inside a different metaverse. Isn't that amazing? The third key concept around metaverse is persistent or continuity. Like our actual lives, metaverse will also never stop. All these different virtual worlds won't stop. They'll continue to exist. Let's say for example, you and me, we are exploring a museum in London inside some virtual world and for some reason I have to go away for a couple of days. You can continue exploring that museum in London whereas I can go come back after two days and the metaverse will still be there. I can start from exactly the same point and meanwhile you could have done anything. The entire metaverse would still exist would have still gone on for two days and I can just resume it from where I left it. Like real lives, it will be continuous. Now in the future, instead of just chatting or doing a video call with your friend, 
you can actually go to a digital world with them go on a road trip do any kind of sports you want go on a date or go on exploring virtual places and attending concerts doing things for entertainment and the possibility of doing things in this virtual world are infinite going forward we are going to put a lot of videos on metaverse nfts web3 and all the concepts around it we'll also talk about how can you get started what's in it for the brands what's in it for the users we'll also get quite a few industry experts do q and a sessions with them dissect brands case studies and much more if you liked our content please do give us a thumbs up like share it among your friends and do subscribe because we are coming up with a lot of simplified content on metaverse so that you truly understand what it is what value it holds and so on so do like share and subscribe this was the first time that either of us we were we are making a video on youtube so please let us know how we can improve more than happy to take your inputs and feedback thank you